the short-faced bear. So an animal, but kind of a dinosaur because he's kind of extinct. I'm on a landscape page, use pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Found a cool illustration from the Natural History, History Museum of a short-faced bear and he's kind of screaming. So I thought I'd give it a go, right? So, center point of my page here, come up over to the left and we're gonna start with the eye, right? Real small, kind of beady looking eye, right? So, curved line there. And then this comes around, it goes down to the tear duct, just here. His iris and pupils, so he's, it's, it's kind of like in the back here. Like so, and then the pupil. Just there, so he's kind of looking off to the left. And I'm just gonna shade this dark. Okay, so now like some extra sort of eyelid lines and stuff. Just there, another one. Coming off like so. And then like another sort of forehead. Hairy sketchy lines now for creatures like this, okay? Because he is furry. And then like something else coming across underneath towards the snout, which will be over here. So his his nose like is down here and it's quite big, right? So it's it's a real square sort of nose, just up and down there. So this whole thing will fit. So like say this, all the fur around the eye, the eye socket will give you the distance down to there, right? So here to here is about the same as there to there. So like his furry eye section, roughly, right? And then this goes down around. Like that, right? And the other side goes down here. And this side will go to this sort of V and up around to there. And then we'll start to get the nostril inside here. This will be dark, right? The other nostril. here and he has these skin flaps so like bears bears noses and stuff kind of they're kind of um detailed kind of thi things when you look at them <clears throat> so just dark in here at the nostril and then like line down the middle extra sort of Texture lines going around the nose here now. Okay, so so he's got like some more sort of fur lines just coming down along here. Right, just underneath this snout sort of area. Coming along the top and sort of up the middle. Right, it's a real sort of sketchy now. And then these go towards the center of his head, which will run back up like this way. And then he'll have some more sort of brow sort of area. Stuff sort of coming around here. Right, so you can see his, his sort of eye sticking out the other side as well of his snout, right? So, say the snout would be here in the eye. Just 
sort of bumps up and around. This is like his head on the other side. And then like some more sort of snout lines here. And you can kind of make out his eye just here on the other side. Again, some sort of texture, hairy lines and stuff. Like that, all right. And can we see an ear? I think we can see like a little bit of an ear over here. All right, so we're gonna do his big mouth, right? So, coming out this way, around like this, roaring. They have these big lips, right? And he is stumpy, sort of short face, right? Short faced bear. Lines kind of going around there. And then his mouth sort of comes down here. You got like wrinkly sort of gum line there comes around there so he's roaring right this is like his chin or the skin flaps around the chin so these would be kind of pink sort of things right and there's all teeth inside here as well so set of big fangs Coming down here, we can see some of the gum on the other side. And then flat teeth here coming across the top. Right? The edge ones are kind of sharp, but these are mostly flat. Across to the other fang, which sticks down this way. Okay, and side of his mouth then bumps down here. And then we have fangs that stick out and teeth down here as well. So like you could keep that line going and erase it, or you could just draw the fang in first, which is what I'll do. So just a fang there. And then we have this layer of teeth here as well, up to another fang on this side this is like layer teeth inside here so it's you just see them where they connect to the sort of the gum line like that and there's a gum line along here This is like just the edge of his lip, kind of. And then his tongue comes down in here. Remember, if I go too fast for you, just hit pause. Pause that video. And then his tongue just goes back around his sort of molars. There's some molars along here somewhere, I think. Tongue goes back up there. A line comes down that side, and like something on the side of the tongue there. So 
I think he's got like two molars here. jaw, chin, fur, coming around here, and then he's like a big cheekbone, right, so he's got like this big sort of hairy cheekbone that comes around there. And more fur kind of coming down there, but we'll just get like sort of the edge of his face, right, so he's got all this fur hanging off here. And this will go up around his neck, right? And there's a couple of layers. So another layer sort of here. And then this will start to go around towards the ear. Which is like up across from his eye up there somewhere. Okay, so that's about the size of his head. And then we just add like some more sort of layers of fur and blubber. That's a sort of texture just. Okay, and then up around here, we got an ear somewhere. So like, say here. More sort of blubber lines, but do the ear up here. Coming around, furry. Joins back into the head there. And then another furry section that comes across. Like so, and then an interior. It's all dark inside here, so. And then top of his head will go down that way. Make some more fur sections just coming across. So that's his head, and then we'll go down for his neck, right? And you can add some fur. It's coming down there, and then the neck on this side. Furry. Going down there in his arm. Like so, and then we gotta add like layers of fur and stuff all coming down here, right? Lots of sort of textures and things. So like, you know, curving around. That's what you're thinking. You gotta think curvy. Curving around his back. Do, 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 do. 
around the head. And then you'll just shade it or color it. But that's it really. That's how to draw a short faced bear roaring. You can tidy up any lines now. No, but I think I'm happy enough with that. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.